what allowed neural networks to go from just a few layers to 100. The secret is residual connections. Imagine trying to build a tail tower with bricks. The higher you go, the shakier it gets. Something adding more bricks actually makes it worse. But what if with each layer, you had a shortcut back to the base? Stable, reusable and reliable. That's what residual connections do for a deep learning. They let information skip layers and stay strong. In deeper networks, adding too many layers can cause problems. Vanishing gradients, pool learning and overfitting. Residual connections solve this by creating a shortcut path. They add the input of a layer directly to its output. Mathematically, output is equal to function of x plus x. This lets gradients flow smoothly during training, enabling models like RESnet 152 to go deep without collapse. Today, it's used in transformers, LLMs, VITs and beyond. So next time someone says deeper is better, just smile and say only if you got residuals backing you up. Thank you. If you like it, please follow for more ML stories.